Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion and lifestyle content in particular for the woman over 40. Now today's video is going to be a little different. I think it is my very first get ready with me. So please grant me some grace <laughs> and be patient with me. Um, I just felt like I just wanted to talk to you all like you were a girlfriend just sitting here while I was getting ready and having a cup of coffee and you were having a cup of coffee and we were just in the room just kind of chit chatting together. I do have a wedding shower to go to, to bridal shower to go to tomorrow. And so I need to go ahead and get my skincare done. So I'm going to show you my AM skincare routine. I'm going to show you what my makeup routine is like when I'm not filming or going to a big event, just my everyday kind of makeup routine. And I'm going to go through, uh, help you, let you look at some of the items that I'm going to potentially wear to the bridal shower. I think I have four or five outfits and um, I'm going to choose one of them, but I don't know which one. So I'll just show you what I'm, the, the group of five that I'm going to choose from to wear to the bridal shower. And that'll be it. I do have company here today as I'm filming. Come say hello, Gabriel. Hi. Gay, you, one minute, how tall are you? You're not, you're not taller than me yet. You just, that's I'm hair. Five, I'm five, three and a half. And you're not gonna grow any taller. Yes, I am. No, you're not. You're not gonna be taller than me. How old are you? 12. You forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you 12. You, you, you gonna stop right there. You ain't gonna be taller than me. Yes, I will. Gabe, no, you ain't. Okay, this is this is my oldest grandson. Say say hello. This is this is Shadia's baby, the oldest baby. I think this is you're my favorite person in the world. Don't tell nobody. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Gotta have my Starbucks. Well, not gotta have my coffee. It didn't have to be Starbucks. And this mug is from Hawaii. On bought it back for me when he went to Hawaii um, over spring break. Now, <laughs> now I'm ready to start my day. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my skincare. I've never done a get ready with me, but I thought I'd just go ahead and do one today because I'm gonna be out and about. I have a bridal shower to go to tomorrow. I have not been to a bridal shower in years, but I have a bridal shower to go to tomorrow. So I need to go purchase a gift. I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. I have your four or five things that I've p chosen to pick from. I'll, I'll let you all see what I'm going to uh, pick from and see if you, which one you think I'm going to end up wearing. I don't know. I want to be cute but I want it to be really comfortable because at the last bridal shower I went to, I think was Shadia's and we played lots of games and it was really fun. So I don't want to be so fancy or prissy that I don't want to get dirty. By dirty, I mean like some icing or something on me or, or something like that. But I want to be very comfortable, but I still want to be cute. So um, that's how I went through my wardrobe to pick out the outfits that I'm going to potentially wear. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna do my skincare. As you can see, I have uh, zero makeup on and my face feels, it doesn't feel like it's gonna crack. <laughs> it probably just feels normal to you, but every single morning I have a very strategic skincare routine that I do every single day, whether I'm going to wear makeup or not, whether I'm going out the house or not, and my skin has gotten used to being nourished 
and moisturized and having the products on it. And so I, I don't have anything on my skin right now. I washed my face this morning. And I know some people don't wash their face with soap in the morning, but I do wash my face with a skin cleanser in the morning to get all the products off that I use at night so I can have fresh skin, so I can apply my products in the morning so they can absorb the way they're supposed to. And I use retinol at night, so I really wanna get that off in the morning before I apply my morning skincare, skincare routine. Now, I have on this robe, it's really pretty. And you notice the belt. It's not the same colors because I can't find the belt. I can't find the belt. I have this row is really pretty from Amazon. I have it in this pink and I have it in this white. And I'm pretty sure the belts are together because I went to go look at the white one. It's hanging in my closet and the belt is not with it either. So I know they're together and I put them up so that I wouldn't lose them. Lost them. Don't even know what they have no clue where they are because I have so many clothes. Anyway, I'm going to go take this off because I want to put on something a little more comfortable. And I have, I have this robe on because there's a young man here with me. I'll let y'all see him in a few minutes. Um, he was at school yesterday and playing football with, with his little friends and fell and hit his head and he thought his head was bleeding. It wasn't, it wasn't bleeding. Um, he had a little goose egg on there and started crying and wanted his grandma to come pick him up from school. So he's here, he spent the night. His mom gonna come pick him up today. But he's here, so I put this robe on. Um, but I want to be a little more comfortable, so I'm gonna put on probably my um, Pop Flex. I'm gonna probably go back and get two more of those. They're that comfortable. So I'm gonna put that on and I'm come back and show you what I do for my morning skincare routine and just kind of talk to you about a quote that I saw and how it kind of sparked my interest and just kind of made me think a lot of kind of about uh, my life and some things that I had thought about and it just really hit home for me. So hold on, please. Oh, I forgot my mirror. Okay. All right. So I have all of my stuff. my mirror here. Let me adjust the camera. So here I am bare face. So I'm just going to show you what I do for my morning skincare routine. First, I'm going to show you two empties that I have for the month. And the first was this um, perfect facial oil by Leafinity. Let's see if you can see it here. And there, there it is. Here it is. It's empty. It's a great cleansing oil. Use all of this. Um, I've rarely had a cleansing oil that wasn't good, to be honest, but empty that. And next is my um, vegan kom kombucha tea essence. This is probably the third bottle that I have used, and I love this. It makes my skin feel fantastic. I don't know which products are giving my skin its healthy glow, but I, I like trying different skincare products. I'm obsessed. I'm really obsessed with K-Beauty skincare. I watch a lot of videos regarding K-Beauty and the products that they're using. The Koreans are skincare experts, and so if they're loving it, I'm gonna try, I will try it. And so that's probably, that's where, for sure, that's where I found out about this vegan kombucha tea essence. Um, but I wanted to try something different, see if there's something else out there that's better or that I like just as well. So I emptied this and then I was watching some more beauty videos or skincare videos. And then I found out about this um, Jin Jung Sung. Um, and this is a skin essence in this skin moisturizing. Now I have very, very dry skin. So I love anything that says it's going to be nourishing and moisturizing. I'll try it. And I watch Cassandra. I love Cassandra's videos um, about her with skincare. So I think she mentioned this. I was like, let me go and try it. Next I have, this is new. Um, I'm not going to even try to pronounce this, but it's spelled H-A-R-U-H-A-R-U Wonder. And it is a black rice hyaluronic toner. So this should be very nourishing and moisturizing. When I watched the videos and read up on it, it was um, definitely that. And I have my Lancome 
um, tonic comfort. This is a toner, moisturizing toner. I have used this for years. As you can see, the bottle is down to here. I, I probably emptied four or five of these bottles over the years, but I, I love this. And this was a recent introduction back into my skincare routine. Once I came home from Saudi, I um, started buying this again and added it to my skincare routine because it's so dry. It was dry in Saudi too, but it was just so dry here in Texas. And for my vitamin C, I've been using Medicube. Now I started using Medicube because I did a, a video with them. My nose itching. I did a, a video with them. And anytime I do a video with any kind of products, especially skincare products, um, I ask them to send me samples of the products first and let me try it. If I don't like it, I'm not going to do a video about it. If I, I'm just gonna say, um, unfortunately, it does not meet my needs and I can't introduce this to my audience because they have trusted me and so I have to be honest and transparent so I, that is what I'm going to be. So I do love, love their vitamin C's. This is the 15.5, 15, yeah, 13.5, don't have my, <laughs> I don't have my glasses on because I'm gonna do my skincare. 13.5% vitamin C and it comes, and you have this little bottle and it comes with the ampules and when you empty, um, the, you just put the lid on top of each one. You empty one and you go to the next ample. And they have, I think, a more concentrated brand. I mean, they have a more concentrated version. And they have, I think they have three different versions of their vitamin C. But I love, love their vitamin C. This is a deep, rich yellow. And it comes in these dark vowels so that the sun doesn't mess it up before you use it. And for my moisturizer, this is by... Pinyon Kang, I remember her Cassandra pronouncing that. Pinyon Kang Yule, um, it is a moisturizing cream. It's nice and thick, and I love that again because I have really dry skin. And for my sunscreen, <laughs> a none other than uh, Black Girl Sunscreen SPF 30. So this is the sunscreen I've used ever since I was introduced to it. I've been using this and this only because I know without a shadow of a doubt when I put it on, I'm not gonna have a gray or white mask on my face. I even put this on my husband if he forgets his sunscreen. And then sometimes throughout the day or if I'm out and about and I get really, really dry, I'll put this in my purse or put it in the car or if I have it at home. And it's the Mario um, Skin Care and it's a facial spray water. It just makes your skin feel so rejuvenated. <laughs> if you've been out in the sun, it's dry. And even though I'm sweating, but when I come in the house and I'm just, you know, it just gets a little dry sometimes. And it has aloe, cucumber, and green tea in it. And I'll just spray it on my face and it just feels amazing. Some, oh, sometimes I'll spray it on my husband's face if his, skin, <laughs> if his skin looks dry because he fights me on everything when it comes to skincare. I don't need that stuff, but yes you do, honey. I know you're watching this video because you're gonna have to edit it. But I'll spray this on his face and then he'll, he'll fuss about it, but then he'll sit there like this. Mm -hmm. So that is what I do. So first I start off with um, my essence and I don't use, what do they call to use those little cotton pads because I feel like the pads absorb some of the product and I pay good money for these products and I don't, or for any product and I don't want the pad absorbing my product. So I don't use um, cotton pads. I usually take my rings off too to apply my product. So this. Put a little bit on my ears. And almost everything that I put on my face, I put on my chest except for my retinol. Can't put too much. I want to hit the microphone. My husband will be fussing when he edit the video. That um, one at a time. Oh, I didn't tell you about my eye cream. The eye cream that I'm using lately is the Olay Eyes Collagen Peptide Eye Cream, and I'll put this on after I put everything else on. Just kind of massage it in my eyes. So I put this on first. That's the toner. And then I'll use this toner because it's clear. So you go from clear to darkest when it comes to products. If you have to choose, you, don't, you can't decide which product to put on first, you put the clear product on first. 
to put, even if the product is more watery than, this is, this is definitely more watery than the other one. I still put it in my hands. Oh, that smells good. That smells like, has like a tiny rosemary scent. Just a tad bit, it smells like it to me. Now the first one didn't have any scent at all. And I always put products on my ear because my ears are getting dry too. I'm patting around my eyes. And I, yes, I do this every single day. But I have them lined up in my bathroom, so I go, <laughs> I'm a little faster with it. I'm a little faster with it. Um, when I'm doing it in my bathroom. I love Lancome, they have my favorite foundation as well. This smells so clean. This this Lancome smells just, just I don't know what this is. Uh, lightly scented, but it's a very, very fresh, right after the rain, outdoor scent. But very, very light. If you don't like fragrances, it won't, it shouldn't bother you because it's very, very light. So my skin feels 100% better already. And I go all the way up to my hairline. feels better already okay um, and then I do my vitamin C and I think this one is almost empty we'll see we'll see if it comes out yeah. and it's a yellow Whoop. you see it it's a dark yellow color now this does have a scent but not not that much this smells very like it has herbs in it. Not a heavy herb scent, but it smells very organic. It smells very organic. And I pack that in. The vitamin C is an antioxidant. It helps prevent uh, some of the UV rays from getting to your skin. Look at the glow already. Just glow already. And then I have my moisturizer and I'm only gonna use a little bit of this. Is that a knit? That's my moisturizer, moisturizer. That's my moisturizer. And it comes with this little bitty spatula. Use that and put it in my hand. I'm nosy, window open so I can see <laughs> the neighbors across the street. The home health nurse going to the neighbor's house across the street. That feels so, that feels so good. And last but not least, my sunscreen. And so, is I put like a about that much and I put it on my eyebrows because I got my eyebrows microbladed and shaded so it'll help it last longer. on the back of my ears and the back of my neck. Shoulder. And last but not least, I'll also use my eye cream. I'll do all this before I put my makeup on. And I just use my ring finger and tap a little bit on my finger. 
and just kind of pat it in under my eye and on my eyelid. Uh, why do people open, <laughs> open their mouth when they're putting their makeup on? Okay, that is my morning. Is there something? Oh, that's the sun. That's the light shining. The light or something. That's my morning skincare routine before I put my makeup on. And then if my skin feels dry throughout the day, I'll just take the Mario and just kind of... Oh, God, that smells so good. Definitely smells like green tea. Um, and I'll just miss that. But that is my morning skincare routine before I put my makeup on. Now, if I'm not filming, I do a very, very, very... <laughs> very light makeup routine if I'm not filming, if I'm out and about. And if I'm going on a date or something, I'll do a lot more makeup. If I'm going to an event, a big event, I'll do a lot more makeup like I do when I'm filming. But for my everyday I'm out at home or out and about, or if I'm not, if I know I'm not leaving home for the day, I don't do makeup at all. I just put my skincare on and I just let it sit throughout the day and just nourish my skin and moisturize my skin. If I know I'm gonna be out and about, then I'll put a uh, very, very light makeup on. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. So because I'm going out, I'm gonna put just a little bit of makeup on and I'm gonna put start with the primer because I, um, although I love this healthy glow, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a bit too healthy for me for going out. So I start with a primer and I have different kinds, but I like uh, NYX I like NYX primer because it will instantly take off some of that shine. I don't want it all gone. I just want some of it gone because I like the healthy glow. And it helps the makeup to last longer. See? Some of the glow is gone. And then I do a color correct under my eyes. This LA Girl Pro, I think this is the dark orange. I can't, don't have my glasses on. But I always put it on back on my hand because it warms it up and it makes it apply a lot better. When I finish doing my makeup, I have a makeup all on my hand. So, and I use my ring finger. Thank you so. Kind of, I'll do one side so you can see the difference with the color corrector. So if you have dark circles under your eyes and you put your makeup on, it still looks great under your eyes, you need to use a color corrector. And the color corrector you use will, de will depend upon the color of your skin. Because my skin is deeply melanated, I use a deep, rich, orange, um, red kind of brick color. And you don't need a lot see, to put that there. And I just kind of work it in with my finger. A little bit on my eyelid. And that's it. I don't have any discoloration anywhere else. So see the difference? See how much lighter it is under my eye than this eye? So it corrects that darkness under my eye. So I'll do this side, do the lid, with what's left on my finger, always on my finger, I always put too much on my hand. Let's see. And normally when I'm in my, I do my makeup, I'm sitting in my studio right now, but I do my makeup in my other room. I have a black towel. I'll link them in the description box. But I bought a stack of them, I think maybe seven or eight. They're just black hand towels that I only use for makeup applications. So I'm not messing up my white towels. So that's it. Corrected the dark circles under my eyes. And I just use a little bit of foundation. Lancome is my favorite. So this is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear. 
in the color 530W, which is warm. So again, I'm spreading on, the, <laughs> spreading on the back of my hand because I don't wear a lot of makeup. I just want one squirt. I don't want to use a lot of makeup since I'm not filming because it does feel honestly a lot heavier. I try not to get it into my grave. I always do. So as soon as I finish putting my makeup on, I go to the bathroom and I take a washcloth with soap and water and I wipe it, wash it out of my grave because my makeup is dark so it turns my gray hair dark. In front of my under eye, uh-huh. I like to apply it with my finger. There we go. And then I take my moistened sponge to kind of get the rest off the back of my hand. Look at that. Oh, I touched the color corrector. Let's so get that off. Don't use that side. And then I just kind of diffuse the foundation with the sponge all over my face. So it's just a light layer. It's like my skin, but better layer. So it just kind of evens out my skin tone. And always go under your chin. That way you don't have that harsh line. Okay. There's that. Okay. Put there. Then I do a little powder. Just to set it. Just to set it. And it takes the last bit of that excess shine from the face. I love this fashion fair. So I take it on the sponge, then I'll dab it, dab it, dab it on the back of my arm to get all the excess off. Then out. Oh, I just wasn't blending in the end well. Okay, then I'll put a, the Fenty bronzer. I'll use it as my blush because it's such a pretty bricky brown and just put a little bit on my cheeks. Just add a little color, a little, put a little dimension back on my face. That's it. And then I'll put, this is my favorite pencil liner by Urban Decay, um, and I always get black. It's really soft, really creamy, and it's just perfect um, if you're not really skilled at putting eyeliner on. So I just put, let me turn this mirror over. I 
I have to now if you have taunt skin, you don't have to pull your skin. But I have to pull my skin and then I can't see. Apply the eyeliner. Gives my eye a little more definition. And I go from the outer corner to the inner corner. That's it. And then I use, where's my mascara? Oh, mascara. I have so many different mascaras that I use. But I've been using this Too Faced. Um, better than sex mascara for years too but i'll try just about any kind of mascara i don't have any one any one in particular that i'd absolutely absolutely love and that is my makeup look but i'm just not trying to do a whole lot of makeup that's it now let's talk about this a quote that I saw and the quote said you don't have to forgive but you have to find closure and that just hit me and just made me just stop in the moment and just sort of think because for years I don't really talk about you know my family issues or past family issues but um, for years I had issues, I'm just gonna be frank, issues with my father because he was not there. He was, he was once I got probably four, five years old, left, when I left South Carolina, he just, he, he just was not there. Um, especially when I got a little bit older and knew, probably seven to eight years old, when I knew what, truly knew what a father was and what they're supposed to do, and he, he wasn't there. And by there, I mean never. Um, and so I had, I grew up with issues with that and anger and then, um, just, just, just not happy with him at all. And my issue was the biggest problem was people telling me, Oh, you're, you're, you have to forgive. You have to forgive. You have to forgive. And, and I struggled with that and it was, it was really frustrating because, um, I didn't feel it was fair. I didn't, I, you know, as, as that person in my life, or you were supposed to, as, as a father, you're supposed to protect and provide, and he did neither. And because he did neither, um, I had some issues, or I, there were situations, um, consistent situations, and sometimes one-time situations that happened that were very painful in my life. And I didn't feel it was fair that I had to forgive but then he's sitting over here scot-free and people you're not going to ever have a healthy relationship unless you forgive and you're just not going to be whole and i don't think that's fair i think um as human beings we have a right to feel the way we have to feel and then i struggle because i'm a christian and the bible talks about forgiveness and the way the lord forgives us and he wants us to forgive others and as a human being i feel there are i personally feel there are situations where or and things that are unforgivable like there are unfor none of those maybe one um happened to me maybe one one did but there are, there are situations that are unforgivable i cannot forgive this and i don't think it's fair for people to put pressure on people to forgive for instance, someone who was a, a battered wife, who, who was beaten, and I'm, that didn't happen to me. But does she have to, why does she have to forgive someone who beat her? I don't think it's fair. I know life is not fair. Um, and so I struggled with that and I would get very, very angry when people would tell me, you have to, you have to forgive, you have to forgive and you're not gonna be whole and you can't go on. But I just didn't think it was fair. And when I, then, um, but for me, I found closure. I found closure and I, that was because of my faith. I, I dated him. Never mind. Uh, because of my faith, I found closure. I prayed about it and prayed about it and prayed about it and prayed about it. I mean, 
consistently like again and again and again and again and like every single day all day long every time i thought about it for several weeks and then one day i was saying the prayer lord lord take this hatred out of my heart take it out of my heart i don't want i don't want this i don't want this hatred i don't want to hate anyone i don't want this hatred and then as a christian like how am i gonna get into heaven hating somebody um please take this hatred out of my heart and one day it was just gone it was gone like it, it, I prayed, it was like, take it away. Instantly it was gone. And so that was my way of finding closure and finding, being okay. And knowing that still though, that was wrong, that um, I didn't have those things. And it was, I was deprived of what was owed to me. But I found closure. And I, I don't, I, I love that quote because there are women who, or, or people who suffer from tragic incidents that happen in their life. And I think to continually put that pressure on them to forgive is wrong. I'm just, just me, my personal belief. But I also feel like they need to find a way of finding closure so they can live a healthy, happy life because I'm a happy person. I have joy from my soul and it's not from the outside I know my joy comes from the Lord and and I'm so so grateful to him for that so I do feel like people need closure when it comes to things that have happened to them and when it comes to people who have who have hurt them intentionally or unintentionally if they can find a way to find closure um, without the pressure of always trying to find forgiveness I think that is really important. And I just wanted to share, share that with you all. And I would love to hear your thoughts. Now, if um, it's oftentimes, sometimes not often, but yeah, kind of often, at least once a week, somebody will come on my video in the comments and they'll make some ugly, nasty comment. And um, most of the time it does not bother me. If it's really nasty, I'll block that, I'll delete it and block it but this is not the situation. I really want your honest feedback. I want you to tell me what you feel about that quote, that you don't have to find forgiveness, but you have to find closure. Um, but not, no, you don't have to find forgiveness, but you need to find closure. Um, just let me know your thought on that. That was, my, that was my thought on it. Now I'm gonna go pull out the outfits that I think I'm gonna wear to the bridal shower. I need to go buy a gift. That's why I'm gonna be out and about today. I need to go buy a gift, but I want to decide what I'm gonna to wear to the bridal shower tomorrow. So I'm gonna go get those outfits and you tell me which one you think that I should wear. So this potential look number one, and I'm already thinking, no, it's too dark. It's too dark for a bridal shower, even though it's cute and I, see I chose these looks <laughs> last night, but I know why I chose this because this is a romper. So it's very, very comfortable. It's beautiful, it has lace, so it's very feminine, but it's black. And there's one bigger issue is it zips in the back. So I'd have a little trouble getting it off when I get, need to go to the bathroom. I really love this romper, but I think this look, even if I paired it with some, I'm looking in the mirror over here. Even if, mm-hmm, wait a minute. Y'all see that says husband, Ben Bauer. You, I hope you see yourself when you're editing this video. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, honey. I'm sorry. This is okay. I'll film. Me cover up your workplace off your... Just let me know when you're done. Cover up your workplace on your uniform on the phone. You look handsome. Don't, don't, uh, uh, don't start that. Don't you start that. This is on film. Stop it. <laughs> okay, I'm filming. I'm almost done though. Okay. Well, I just got the first outfit. I got three more out, three or four more outfits, and then I'll be done with the video. Okay. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Bye bye. Okay, yeah, but this is too dark. The purse is beautiful. It's black. It's gold. It's the brandy blackwood but yeah this is too dark so this is gonna be a no this is gonna be a no let's, let's move on to the next 
Okay, so this is option two, and I know it's black and white, but hear me out, hear me out. This is black and white. It's not just it's black like the last outfit. It's a lot more white. Well, they're probably even, but the flowers are white. And it's fun. It's a definitely a spring type dress because it's strapless. Only problem is, because I lost weight, it's a little big, and I might have to take it up a little bit. But I have on black and white shoes that are fun and springy, and this pop of color pink purse, I could wear any color, but I need it so I felt like something bright would be really, really appropriate. And guess what? It has pockets. Now, I, I think this is my favorite. I, this is cute. I, I really, 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 really like this. I've had this dress at least 10 years, at least 10 years. It's from a brand called Taylor. I used to love that brand. I'm gonna Google and see if they're still available. But all of her dresses were kind of, almost not all, but most of her dresses were fit and flare. So they snatch in at the waist and just kind of go out and go out at the bottom. So they just look very feminine, very dainty. And it's a quality, well-made piece. And that's why I've had it for so long. But I think this is, this is definitely a top contender. This, this might be it. I love this look. I like it with this pink purse too. I was looking for another one, but I think this bold pink is much better than the soft pastel pink for this look because there's a lot of black and white going on. But yeah, what y'all think? So this is the next option. I thought I would pair this purse and these shoes so we can add a little pattern to the look. The dress, you know, it's green. <laughs> you can't go wrong with green for me. And I love the dress. I love this dress. I love the silhouette. I love everything about it, except for that it doesn't have pockets. Other than that, it's perfect. But I want to add a little pattern. I, I like it. It's okay. It's just not making me go, ooh, I want to wear that. It's just not making me say that. I really like the last look a lot. I think that's what the problem is. Or I could wear this and maybe switch out the shoes for some sneakers, some sneakers. I have my, yeah, that would look nice. Let me see. I have these silver sneakers that I got from Givenchy. That would look really cute. Silver sneakers and maybe this Prada purse. That would look really nice and comfortable. I could do that. I like that look better than this look, to be honest. So yeah, that's, that's a good, that's a good look. The silver sneakers for sure. And, and that purse rather than the zebra print and the zebra print shoes. Cause I like it together, but it's just not making me feel like I want to wear that. I really, I wasn't, I don't feel excited about it. Like I, <coughs> oh God, I know he gonna include this in the video. I'm just gonna not even say, don't put that in. But I just don't feel as excited about it as I did the last outfit. And because I don't feel excited about it, it's, it's just gonna be a no. It's just gonna be a no. Put the shoe back and go take this, take this off. But I would wear with the silver sneakers and the silver purse. That would make me happy. Yep, would love that. So this is the next look. It is a romper. It's from Farm Rio. I love this romper. It's very comfortable. I love the bright colors. I just love everything about it. But I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think the black is too dark, even though the romper has black in it. And I don't feel like I have anything that would match it to brighten it up. I could do the silver shoes, but it doesn't feel like it's a silver shoe outfit. Oh, I do have some neutral shoes. Yeah, I could do some, let me take this off. Let's see. This is what I'd be doing when, <laughs> when I'm not filming. Let me see. Try a nude shoe. That's better. Much, much, much better. Okay. That's better. So a new, now I gotta sneeze. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's go. Nude shoe, neutral purse, much better look, much better. Much better, I like this much better now than the black. I think they felt like the black shoes were too heavy and I like this purse. It almost disappears with the outfit. This, this, this is linen. So the, the microphone keeps falling. But yeah, now this is a true contender for the look. So I think I'm down to this one and the other one. I do have one more, 
one more, but I like this. It's comfortable, it has pockets. You know, we love us, love ourselves a pocket. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's fun. It's springtime, it's bridal, bridal party kinda appropriate. So I think this is definitely a contender as well. I think this would be honestly more comfortable than a dress. So I have one more and we'll see which one I chose. Okay, so pay no mind to the wrinkles. I just washed it. So, and, and believe me, this is the very first time you will ever, if you can see the wrinkles, you have ever seen anything wrinkled on my channel. I iron everything. So if you can see the wrinkles, congratulations, the first time this happened. But this is how this goes. I bought this jumpsuit in South Africa, and I wish I had bought five or six more. I already know. This is it. I already know this is it. Okay. So this is it. I'm looking in the mirror. So I can leave this wide like this, but I like it a little more narrow on my shoulder. It's like here, it has elastic in the waist. It has pockets. It's cut right. I don't have any shoes on, so it's right at my feet, so I can just wear some flats. It's comfortable. It's vibrant. It's beautiful. See, what would I wear? It has some... So you can see it has that beautiful turquoise, it has some brown, it has some black, it has some purple looking color, some soft yellow. I think I should do this with a neutral pair of shoes. Let me see. I wish I had some brown sneakers. That would be just perfect. I want to be really comfortable. Let's see. These shoes are neutral. These are from Zara. It has a little heel on it. And that's okay, it matches the brown in the jumpsuit. This neutral purse, this is it. This is a look, I think. Y'all tell me which one y'all like the best, but this is definitely my favorite. It's gonna be comfortable. What sort of perfume? I want something pretty, something feminine, um, something mass appealing. I love this. Maison Francis Kirk de Jean a la rose, but it smells like a beautiful, beautiful, soft pink or soft yellow rose. But a rose scent is not something that everyone loves. I want it, I don't want it to. This Killian Good Girl gone bad. It's beautiful, but it's more, it's a little heavier than I want. The Soleil Blanc smells like fruit. It's beautiful, but that's not what I'm looking for. Let me see. What a minute, what's, I'm also about to have a heart attack. Yes, Delina. Delina is going to be the scent that I'm gonna be wearing tomorrow. I think this is perfect. I wish I knew someone who could sew, who could replicate this for me. I would, I would have them replicate this probably 10 times. I would have this in every single color. But I'm definitely gonna wear Delina and pretty much 99% sure this is my outfit because why not? Where's the pocket? Why not? It's, it's a pair of pants and it's comfortable. It's flowy. Why not? Well, that is it, family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do more, <laughs> more get ready with me and just kind of talk to you all. I, I enjoyed this video. I really did. But that that one quote just kind of kind of got got to me. I thought it was very thoughtful, very insightful, very. Um, empathetic and, and compassionate. Yep, that's it. Now, no matter where you are in the world, I want you to have the most amazingly blessed day and I want you to know that you are important, that you are beautiful, that you are in love, and that I, if no one else, really appreciates you. Bye-bye.